Hello everyone, today we will be seeing one of the advanced characterization techniques which is scanning probe microscopy. We will be seeing the background and history of scanning probe microscope and its family tree. We will be discussing in detail about atomic force microscope and scanning tunneling microscope. The scanning probe microscope was invented in 1981. Many have claimed that it was their invention, but it was Binning and Roher who invented it. The microscope has a range of applications, especially atomic structure and surface temperature. The surface temperature of wide range of materials can be measured and also liquids can be measured. These are the branches of scanning probe microscopy. Scanning probe microscopy's family tree is really big. And the scanning tunneling microscope and atomic force microscope are the well-known characterization techniques which is used in many of the characterizations of materials. The operation of the scanning probe microscope is simple. Both the microscopes has a probe which is made of silicon or silicon nitrate and the modern scanning probe microscope has a photo detector which converts the signal from the deflected laser beams. Now we'll be seeing about the atomic force microscopy. As I said, this is the most widely used branch of scanning probe microscopy. This operates by measuring the interaction force between the tip and the sample. The probe carries a cantilever and a tip which moves on top of the surface of the material, thus analyzing and imaging the material. There are three modes of operation in the atomic force microscope one is contact mode this is the mode in which the tip is almost placed on the material and is run throughout the surface of the material and thus imaging it the tip remains in a repulsive regime of the intermolecular force curve the second mode is tapping mode the tapping mode is where the tip is oscillated at a high frequency of around 500,000 tappings per second and the deflection in the oscillations are observed and thus processed into an image. The third mode is non-contact mode in which the tip is placed outside the sample in a repulsive regime. Now we'll see about the scanning tunneling microscope. The electrons are transferred between the tip and the sample due to the overlapping of orbitals. A net transfer can be sustained by applying a voltage across gaps. This is possible due to the effect of quantum tunneling. Change in current is a result of a change in the tip sample separation. The tip and the sample are always separated by two modes. The two modes are constant current and constant height. In the constant current mode, the tip is maintained a constant tunneling current by adjusting the separation. The current is kept constant and the height is varied. In the constant height mode, the maintains a constant height and measures the current change. These both are almost interrelated to each other. If you have any doubts or questions, please comment below. Thank you.